Welcome to another video. My name is Rasmus Mickelson from publishinglife.com. And this video is a little bit different than what we usually do because I'm gonna show you a snippet from a group coaching call that we did inside of uh, our program, Audiobook Income Academy 2.0. Now we do these group coaching calls three times per week and I just really liked the discussion that we had and I figured I really wanna share it with you guys on YouTube. So I am with one of our other coaches, Ollie. He's with me on the call as well. Now, just for some context, our students can ask questions live and then we answer them and discuss them. And the question that was asked was, what are the most common mistakes that you see beginners make? Now, she asked this because we often say, for your first book or two, expect to make quite a few mistakes because you've never done this before. And so she asked, what are the most common mistakes that you see beginners make? So what you're about to see is our answer to that question. It's on the topic of book reviews, right? Enjoy the video. Here's another uh, mistake that students often make that I wanted to say. Not understanding the importance of reviews and that you can't just put up a book. For one, just put up a book and expect it to sell or just put up a book, get you know, less than 10 reviews and expect that to be enough. Perhaps in 2014, that was enough. Not anymore. Um, so we actually filmed a YouTube video about this a few days ago. I started editing it. I just didn't like how it turned out. So we're not going to post it, but I could basically reiterate what we were saying. And that is that the biggest tied with the topic of your book, your book title. I said, those are tied. And you know, then you have your, your book cover important as well, but the most important thing in the, the amount of money that your book actually makes is the number of reviews it has. The more reviews, the more money it will make. I like to say the magic number is at least 100. But I remember saying this uh, in the video. I'll just repeat it here. Um, if you can get 1,000 reviews on your book, this will take one to two years to do. But if you can do that, you essentially have in one book, a. this is going to sound crazy, this one book can make you set for life if it has over a thousand reviews in most instances, I would probably say. Now, a thousand reviews is not easy in a sense. It is easy. It's just repeating the same thing over and over, but it takes time. Of course, it takes time. Like I said, you can probably be set for life from one book. Ollie, would you disagree with that? And when I say set for life, you're not like uh, super rich or anything, but if that thing can pay you, uh, one to two thousand dollars a month. You live modestly. Okay, okay. Here, you live modestly in somewhere else in the world. You can be set for life for one book. Here's the deal: mm -hmm. if you get a book, thousand reviews, and it makes less less than five thousand American dollars a month. I didn't want to be too. Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. A thousand reviews. A I know. Thousand. Like that's mm -hmm. Less than five grand a month, I'll make up the difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we've mentioned Suraj in the course. I can talk about him. We talk about his, his story. He comes from My India. Hero. Makes um, boof, a lot of money from his publishing business. Is it now over, cons consistently over 100000 a month? Um, I'm not sure about consistently, but I know okay, he's done he's, it multiple he's times. It. He's hit, he hit him multiple times in one month, hundred thousand dollars. He has less than 10 books, right? Yeah. Um, he, his, you know, bestseller has over 2000 reviews, right? Yeah. What does that thing make like $20,000 a month? Yeah. It's more than 20 grand a month. Mm -hmm. From I think it's book. about 30 now. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So there's an insane exponential effect when you have a shit ton of book, uh, sorry, reviews on your book. And like there's between 10 and 20, makes a difference, whatever. 30 up to 50, up to 100. Um, but if the books you're competing against, they have 200 to 300, you're still second to them. Once you exceed 1,000 and you have more reviews, assuming it's four stars plus, there's no way you're going to get some reviews with a bad book. <laughs> 1,000 reviews, three-star average. If you yeah. do that, I'll give you 10 grand. That's even more impressive. impressive that's hard. Um, but yeah, if you're the top book with the most reviews in your niche or, or sub niche, you then become the top book and everyone sees you that way. For one, you're going to rank that way. And when people are comparing your book next to everyone else's, they're picking yours almost every time. 
I speak for myself. So like whether you do it yourself or not doesn't really matter because there's proof that the buyers behave this way. But even for myself, if I, if I'm looking at restaurants on, on Google maps or Google reviews, you know, there, we got two restaurants. They both got 4.6 reviews. One has 22 reviews. One has 860. I'm going to the 860 every, every single time, every single time. And that's the it's same just... way uh, people buy their books. Do you know what game I like so, to play? So the average is important. The volume of reviews is way more important. So I really, really want people to understand the importance of gain-loss reviews. And this is a matter of just doing the same process over and over. So you have the AMZ Discover Method, which you created a lesson about. Um, I think using Facebook groups uh, is the... I don't want to say better method because I know you, it, it, it's also niche dependent, which one's better, whether it's AZ, Discover, or Facebook groups, but use both. Niche but dependent. There's really no uh, niche where you, you couldn't do this for. There are Facebook groups about everything. Yeah, just it takes time enough. to get the thousand reviews. And, but again, it's not hard. It's time consuming. It's repetitive. It's repetitive. It's not particularly dopaminergic. Mm-hmm. It's not very exciting. Mm-hmm. People would rather just move on to a new book. But Nick, as Nick says, it's worth it. And C.S. Sloan was asking, Ollie, what game do you like to play? It's called, which authority books do I have more reviews than today? Mm-hmm. So I have a, I have a very yeah. large book collection. And I like to play, who's next on the list? Which books, which I've learned from, uh, do I now have more reviews than? Mm-hmm. It's a great game to play. I highly recommend it. Cody says, can we hire that out? No, don't do it. You ha- Okay, here's, here's the thing. I said this last week. I'm going to say it again. You have to do things that don't scale in order to scale. You have to do the outreach. Mm-hmm. You have to do the hard work at the beginning to then hit the point where you can scale exponentially without yourself. These guys... Christian and Rasmus, they did the 100 videos on YouTube. They did the countless hours of course. They did the individual outreach to get all these testimonials. Now other people do it. Then, then, then they could scale with ads and a team. But you don't get to start there. You haven't earned the right yet. So when everyone, and Coley, I'm not picking on you here by by any means. I'm just trying to demonstrate the point. When anyone ever says like, can I just get a VA to run my publishing business? Can I pay someone to find me keywords? No, you cannot. You haven't earned it yet. Nick says, when when my reviews went from 30 to 50 plus, my sales tripled. Whoa. That's basically what happens when you get lots of reviews. Any book with, with over 100 reviews is going to make solid, consistent income every month, no matter what, for the most part. Can I, yeah. can I safely say that? Um, I would say in all but the most competitive niches, yes. Mm-hmm. Right. If you're in the most competitive niches, then 100 is still like bottom of the barrel compared to all the other ones. Yeah. like I... yeah, Those are the ones where if you can get to 1,000 plus... Um, there is the most potential because there's a shit ton of buyers, um, but it takes time to get there. That, that just that, that comma, when you join the comma club in reviews, mm. that's when you know. Mm-hmm. Jeff sends you a letter. You got to get a thousand reviews. If I said to you, all you've got to do is get a thousand reviews and then you can get rich. Would you do it? That's kind of what it is. Not rich, but really good income from your books. I think 10 grand a month in perpetuity is rich. Right. Maybe my standards have changed, but yeah, most people would say so. I mean, did you earn 10 grand a month before this? How much were you earning as Chinese man? Mm, 150 bucks a week. Chinese yeah, so food delivery man. The first thing when someone says my books are not as much as I wanted. Oh, it has four reviews. Well, no, of course it's not selling as much as you wanted. 
four reviews. Would you buy a product on Amazon with four reviews? I'd be have to be extremely desperate and there would have to be uh, no other books about that or something like that. Can still sell, but don't expect much. Do you have person. to really nail everything else? Exactly. Okay, next person who's on this call, all 311 of you, I'm going to make you a promise. Get a thousand reviews, send me a picture, and I'll give you a personal comma club award. Mm -hmm. It's just a big framed comma. Yes. I like that. And here's what I'll do if you get a thousand reviews on a book. I will send you an AA 10K award because that will just be the result of your thousand reviews. Will it be like a Sharpie crossed out? And then like a thousand reviews. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. Nice. I know we're talking a thousand reviews is kind of a crazy thing. But like we're, <laughs> we're trying to like. Lindsay watches Silicon Valley. Goal. Understood. Yeah. Game is on. Emmanuel says when the book is launched, next target should be reviews. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. James says, what's the best way of getting reviews? There's training about it. That's not what we're going to spend the time doing that. But Facebook group, Facebook groups. AMZ Discover. Those would be the two go-to methods. Nora, does the process of reviews getting take dollars? Mm, doesn't have to, can be free. It, especially the, the Facebook uh, method is completely free. Not a penny. AMZ Discover will cost you a few dollars. And yep, this is just a matter of doing the work. You know? You either right. pay with money or you pay with time. Mm -hmm. There's no in-between. There's, there's no in-between where you can do neither. 